Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share with you my final conclusion to the Makeup Revolution Retro Lux and they are the lip kit. So you can either have matte, gloss or metallic. So that's the matte one in the black matte packaging with the rose gold banding. You've then got the gloss which is the white and you have the rose gold banding and then you can get metallic uh, a metallic finish with the and this obviously is rose gold with the brown banding they all have the lips on there i love the packaging i think this is really fantastic the price is phenomenal they are six pounds each you obviously receive a lip pencil and a liquid lipstick within the lip kit for the amount so basically they're three pounds each i absolutely love um, the packaging like i said i love the fact that they've got the lips on the front i love the names on there i love everything about the packaging i'm going to start with the matte to start with uh, just to give you my final conclusion uh, about because obviously i've done a video on it and I've done a, what did I do? I did a swatch video for the bats and then once I received the gloss and the metallics, I then did a swatch video for those. I then did a try on for every, try on video for every single one to show you what they looked like in natural light. And obviously my first thoughts on how they applied and so forth. So now I just want to finish that whole series off with a, a very short conclusion of what I thought, which ones I like the best, and so forth. If you watched my favourites video that I posted a couple of days ago, you would have already uh, got an indication of what I like, which ones I thought were, you know, my favourites. But I just wanted to complete this series really. So within the matte lip kit, and in fact within all of them, you get, like I say, a lip pencil and a liquid lipstick. And I love the packaging. I think that the lip pencil is really good. It's got that plastic coated finish to it. Uh, and initially there were some um, people that thought that you couldn't sharpen them. You certainly can, and I have. Uh, demonstrated that on my videos. Uh, I really like the fact that the name is on there. Um, I just I just love that. I think it's very simple, very sleek. I love the liquid lipstick packaging because it's rose gold. I think it looks really classy, really effective. Uh, it certainly doesn't look like it's worth, well, you know, you purchased it for three pounds. Uh, the Dofa applicator, I've gone into this as well, but it's small. I found it really easy to apply. Um, the mattes I absolutely loved. There were four shades that I really found suited me. I did pick up every single shade um, and knew that obviously I wasn't necessarily going to like, you know, perhaps each formulation or each shade. So out of the mattes, I loved four shades and that was Echelon, I loved Regal, I loved, um, what one is this one, Rain and, have I said Noble? Anyway, there was four. So I loved those, they were the more neutral shades, the really dark, um, in fact, actually, no, I didn't pick up all of them because I didn't pick up the dark green one because I knew I just wouldn't wear that. I really didn't like the dark brown. I thought that was very, very drying on the lips. And I really didn't like the deep purple for exactly the same uh, reason. I found they were slightly patchy as well. With regards to the formulation, I thought it was really, really, um, it applied very well. Uh, it's not too thick. Um, it's quite moussey, but it also has a um, a cool texture. You know that it's dry because it actually um, warms up on the lip. Uh, I found that the mattes were really comfortable to wear. They also had some give in them, which some or other liquid lipsticks don't have. Um, and I found that they were very comfortable. You could obviously speak, eat and so forth. Basically, you could move your lips without worry that they were going to um, 
crack or anything like that. So I found that a lot of people also said that they were sticky. Um, I didn't find that they were necessarily sticky in ordinary day-to-day -day wear, but if obviously you pressed your lips together very tightly, yes, um, they did have some you know, tackiness to them. Although to be honest, and I have said this before, I'm not that person that sits there and keeps putting my lips together. Um, you know, if like when I talk or where, when I generally put my lips together, I didn't feel that there was any necessarily you know stickiness or tackiness it was only when i really forced my lips together um, and that's not something that i'm going to necessarily do so i found these really really good and i lo absolutely loved the mat i absolutely loved them and i must admit that you know i'm going to keep on wearing these um and yeah, I will carry on with those and repurchase if necessary. Um, also, I wanted to mention with the lip liner for the mattes, they were incredibly creamy. Uh, I thought they were very soft and creamy and so much so that, for example, once they're sharpened and I found that it was when you sharpened them not to sharpen them to an extreme point because that because they are so soft and creamy they can then become quite fragile so when I sharpen them I don't necessarily I sharpen them you know for an uh, for me to, to use um, but I then found with the formulation because it was soft and creamy it does wear down very very quickly like this one um, so you have to sharpen them a lot. I'm not saying that there's anything bad with that. I absolutely love the formulation and I could wear the lip pencil on their own. I love them so much. In fact, and I have mentioned this before, I really wish that Makeup Revolution would come out with, you know, like a chubby stick or something like that with this formulation and perhaps these shades because I love these so much. They are matte. They are just stunning, love them. So that is the matte. And then I move on to the gloss. Now there, th there are three shades and with the matte, there are eight shades, so I purchased seven. With the gloss, let me get the right one. Uh, so the packaging looks like this. Obviously you get the same, a lip pencil and a liquid lipstick. So I've gone into the packaging, I'm not going to talk about that anymore. Now the lip pencil that you receive is exactly the same as the matte within the matte pack. Um, they are ex extremely soft, extremely creamy. They go on the lip as a matte. Um, so again, all the shades within the glossy lip kit, you know, if they were done in like a, you know, a chubby lip pencil, then you know, that would really work for me and I would certainly purchase those because again, you know, exactly the same formulation as the matte, they're fantastic. Um, the gloss, uh, I found that the three shades, I loved them all. Uh, I will carry on wearing all of those and will be repurchasing. I love the gloss. They're obviously not as long wearing as the matte. Uh, I found with the matte, I didn't have to reapply at all, um, apart from Echelon. And I found that with the matte ones, actually, I just wanted to mention this as well, that when you apply them, do apply a thin, you know, less is more with the mattes. And if you do have to reapply, and I found that there was only a little bit in the middle, you came away, for example, if you're eating something a little bit oily, um, I would either reapply in just that area or take everything off, remove it all and reapply that way, or perhaps just, you know, touch up with the lip pencil, something like that, and then go over with the liquid lipstick, because I found that when I reapplied over the top, and I did this with Echelon one Saturday when I was out and about, it went, it went really quite weird. The formulation was very, very weird. Um, there was like um, small, like globules of product that were darker than the rest. So, you know, just obviously be aware of that. With the gloss, like I say, they're not as long wearing. When you eat and there is some transfer, obviously when you drink, um, you will have to reapply. I didn't find there was any issues with that reapplication at all. In fact, I'm not really a big gloss wearer. I don't like gloss that for that reason that it doesn't last very well. But with these, although yes, 
you know, you do have to reapply after you eat and so forth. But I thought the formulation was fantastic. It was long wearing up until the point of eating. And for that reason, I will um, still wear these because although I'm not really a glossy lipstick person, I really absolutely love these. Um, and I found that they were more of a cream formulation rather than a gloss. Yes, they did have a sheen to them, but they were more, because I think uh, when you call something like a gloss finish, you naturally assume that it's not going to be very opaque. But with these, they are a like a cream lipstick, but with that sheen to them. So, you know, I think if you're just calling them a gloss, you're, you're actually doing the, the product a bit of a disservice because it is such a good product. And I love all three of these shades and I hope that they come out with perhaps more of a pinky nude perhaps um, and go down that route. So then the last one, uh, the last finish that I want to talk about is the metallic lip kits. And again, I purchased all three of these. This one is the shade We Rule. Um, and again, you know, I've done videos and trials on all of these. Um, now with these, I, I mean, I love the formulation. I love the formulation of the lipstick. But first, uh, I want to mention about the lip pencil. All three are metallic lip pencils. So if you like that kind of idea, then obviously these are going to suit you. Personally, I tried on all three and the deeper burgundy shade was the only lip pencil that I found was, uh, went on actually nearly as well as the gloss and the matte lip pencils. The metallic finish ones I found were quite dry. Um, I also found the two lighter shades, so We Rule and Sovereign. They did nothing for the liquid lipstick. Um, obviously you want to line your lips with the lip pencil and it gives some kind of definition. Because the shades were so similar, um, I just found that you know there was not really much point to them being on apart from perhaps using them as a base before you apply the um, the actual lipstick itself but I found that when I applied this one it was so light you couldn't see it it then looked quite patchy and it was only you know when you when the, the shimmer part of this caught the light that you could see it um, I really didn't like the two light lip pencils at all. I really didn't like them. I don't didn't really see the point of them. And I think if they, this was a matte finish like the rest of them, then I think that would work really well. It would give some definition to the lip and yeah, make that work better. That's just my opinion. I mean, you may, if you've already got these, absolutely love them. It just, I didn't feel that it worked for me. Uh, like I say, the burgundy shade, the deeper shade, I found that yes, I did like the formulation of that lip pencil. And in fact, actually, I liked the lip pencil on that burgundy shade more than the uh, liquid lipstick because it was actually when you popped it on the lip, the liquid lipstick, I mean, it actually was darker than the lip liner and I didn't like it. And there was not much metallic to it. Um, Whereas the lip liner, I found that there was a slight metallicness to it and that really worked well and I loved it. And in fact, I'm going to use the lip liner on its own as a lipstick rather than the metallic. Um, we Rule, I would say, um, is the peach shade and it is probably my favourite, although I will be using it with a different lip liner just because I really didn't like this one at all. Um, and obviously I've I've mentioned that but I really like this shade the best out of the two lighter shade uh, shades uh, the sovereign really I didn't like that at all I thought it had a bit of a green hint to it and I just thought that it actually um, then gave a grey tinge to my teeth which I didn't like I knew that the metallic shades were going to be a little bit hit or miss for me because I'm not really a great metallic wearer. I prefer 
matte shades and I absolutely love them. But nonetheless, I've tried them. I've done the videos to show you how they applied, what they looked like on the lips and so forth. Um, but I just found that they weren't really for me. But you know, I'm not particularly that worried because they are only six pounds each. So I haven't really lost a great deal, um, you know, with that, but it's just not, not for me and it's not something that I'm going to be grabbing for. I just didn't think that they um, necessarily suited me um, at all. But these two are my favourites. And like I said at the beginning, you, you know, you, you can't love everything. I'm not saying that I hate them or anything like that because I wouldn't do that. I'm a positive person. But it's just something that I didn't like particularly. It didn't work for me and I'm not going to be grabbing for it. But, you know, these two I absolutely love. I'm going to be wearing them all the time and repurchasing. So um, I just wanted to share that with you just because obviously I've done that series and I thought it may be helpful. If you're still making your mind up and obviously you can replay the videos that I've already done, you know, the try-ons and the swatches and so forth to um, see which ones that you would like. Um, and obviously I share my thoughts when I apply them as well. So I hope that helped. If it did, obviously thumbs up and just to support me, uh, do thumbs up as well. But uh, And subscribe obviously to watch further videos. But thank you so much for watching. And I hope you did enjoy the series. So thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.